fan request. One of my subscribers uh, on a comment section in the previous video, uh, Daniel, asked me what I think of Panama's chances in World Cup qualifying, as well as um, as far as the international playoffs are concerned, once we get down to the very end of the qualifying cycle. Um, well, Daniel, I think Panama stands a pretty good chance to avoid the playoffs. Uh, they were very unfortunate not to beat Costa Rica on the road the other night. Costa Rica going down a man. It was 10 v 11 for the last 30, 35 minutes. Panama created some great opportunities to score. It would have been a, uh, a real boost to their qualifying hopes, defeating a better opponent on the road, especially a rival, a neighbor. Um, but they still have a great chance to pull ahead of some of the other teams in the hex on Tuesday at home against Honduras. A win over Honduras for Panama would put them, I think it would be five points clear. It would leave them in the dust. They're just coming off a really uh, horrible loss against Mexico, 3-0. That really could have been uh, a larger deficit. And, you know, by the end of next week, we could be looking at the hex and seeing only a four-team race in, this, in the conversation. Trinidad and Tobago and Honduras could be out. So then Panama could be competing for one of the direct three spots. But if Panama ultimately finishes in the playoff spot, uh, what I think of their chances of qualifying for the World Cup? Well, it depends, uh, Daniel. It depends who their uh, opponent from Asia would be. Uh, the fifth-placed team from Asia would play the fourth-best team from CONCACAF. And how that works is in Group A of Asia qualifying, the third-placed team plays the third-placed team of Group B. And the winner of that two-legged playoff advances to the two-legged playoff against the CONCACAF team. So looking at Asia's groups now, um, I think it's still wide open, that playoff spot. We could see Uzbekistan, South Korea, Australia, Saudi Arabia, or the United Arab Emirates. I think any one of those five countries could end up in the playoff spot against the fourth place the team from CONCACAF. Um, going off of educated guessing and intuition alone, what the standings look like now, uh, it, there's a very good chance Australia would be your opponent. And if that's the case, I think that's Panama's... Uh, toughest possible matchup in the playoffs. Um, due to home atmosphere and what it's like to play in Central America, I would give Panama the very, very slight advantage in that situation. Uh, but I think that's just about the last team you want to play, Daniel, uh, in the playoffs, Australia. And another possible opponent could be Uzbekistan. Because it's looking like Iran is probably going to win Group A in Asia. And it's looking like South Korea might just avoid that playoff spot. So you could be playing Uzbekistan, like I said, Australia, or Saudi Arabia. Um, it's looking like maybe like the United Arab Emirates will slightly miss out. Um, so all those are really tough opponents. And I think it'd be a really close call uh, as far as who goes through, who gets that last automatic uh, spot to the World, the World Cup. Um, if it's Saudi Arabia, I like your chances. If it's Uzbekistan, wow, that'd be a really weird playoff. <laughs> um, I would favor Panama in that circumstance as well, but I think you really, really want to avoid Australia. I really do. Um, so yeah, that's how I feel. I think you'd have a decent chance of qualifying, Daniel. Um, but you really want to do everything you can to avoid the playoff spot in the first place. So go out and win your game against Honduras next week. That'll put you in good position. I think it'll probably take you to third place in the group. Maybe second if Costa Rica drops points. So, you know, just do your best to take care of business now while you still can. All right, well, thanks for watching, everyone. Peace out. And if you have any video requests of mine, I'll try my best to fit them in the schedule. I'll take them into consideration, your ideas, but I will not make videos on 100% of my recommendations. So until then, peace.